So lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely. I'll be so lonely. I could die. Oh, though it's always crowded, you still can find some room for broken hearted lovers to cry away in the gloom. And heartbreak is so lonely, baby. Heartbreak is so lonely. We'll be so lonely. We could die. So lonely, baby. Heartbreak is so lonely. We'll be so lonely. We could die. Oh. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so my recital is titled Tropism, which is the response or the plant, it's the movement of plants, thank you, in response to a stimulus. And I really did try to figure out a recital theme that wasn't ridiculously existential, <laughs> but I don't really think I can be under the way. So, um, so the, the point of it um, is that as I was thinking about plants, I realized they go through um, a similar process to us in that they experience what we would see as trials um, and they respond in movement. And so when a plant is planted, the seed goes into the ground and it's covered up by darkness, by soil. The outside of the shell, right, dies and that's what allows the plant to, to grow. And then rain comes, it allows the soil to be rich and um, absorbable, right? And then if that weren't enough, gravity pulls that plant down and like further into darkness, I suppose you could say. And then it's only then that the plant is actually able to uh, break the surface, right? And so um, I was thinking about this and how, as humans, we go through trials, right? And we have the option to let those things destroy us or we can let them refine us. And so uh, that's what we're gonna be exploring tonight is just themes kind of around this. And um, so the first set that I'll be doing is uh, some stories of women that experienced trials and then they responded kind of with a knee-jerk reaction in certain ways. Um, so that's all we seem to know first. Murray. <laughs> now here, Murray. <laughs> I am 
not discussing this anymore. You don't want to buy me the fur? Well, that's just fine, Murray. It's not like I'm asking for much since you won't buy me the dog or the beach house in Cork. As if you didn't have the money. Uh, what else is new? I'm not going to fight for a coat, so never mind, Murray. If that's what's important to you, at least I know where I stand. So, Murray, strike up the band because the time has come for action. Here's what I'll do. Clearly, I'm not wanted anymore. Now I'm not so young and beautiful. That's okay. I faced defeat before. I'm not gonna kvetch and I'm not gonna cry. It's not gonna get me what I wanted, so I'm simply gonna take one step, one tiny step. Yes, Murray, one small step. I'll be free. One small step, just so you should and worry. I'll Murray, watch me. You think this is maybe a joke? Well, it's not a joke, Murray. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're forming a crowd. Lady Five at the most. Still, front page of the post. Look, Murray. I think it's Murray Povich. And Connie, too. Hi, Connie. Now you'll finally make your mother proud Since she never liked me anyway Look, look, she's throwing diamonds to the crowd Just say the word and I'll come back inside But until then I'll be happy just to know that I can always go and take one step One tiny step, yes, Murray One small step, adios One small step, honey, you better hurry Oh, yes, sir, better give up that fur Is it easy? Watch me. Ah! Murray? <laughs> Whoops, I almost fell, Murray. <laughs> Mother of your children splattered across Fifth Avenue in a funny heap, Murray. And it's all your fault cause it's you who made the money yes it's you who bought the store so if you don't want to spend it that's your right but it's you who bought the penthouse on the 57th floor so good night cheapskate good night you think i don't know about her well i do murray you think i don't know about that or the things that you say to your friends every day fat demanding or controlling or whatever perhaps it's true here's the place where I get what I burn why keep crying why be miserable look at Murray somebody's concerned trust in the wind and I'll land on the crowd no more complaining I'm trashy and loud what a sensational fighting experience finally Murray I'm getting one tiny step, yes, Murray. One small step takes you high. Hey, hey. One small step down from the man who needs you. Forget the fur, Murray. Just send it down to her. Fare thee well, and Murray. Crimp the edge. 
wedges And make it sour and stir with lemon wedges Even though it can be delicious And it washes off of all the dirty dishes When it's done, I can smile It's on someone else's plate for a while I'll place it on display And then I'll slice it Serve my worries away I can place this I can twist it into sugar butter Covered pieces Never mind what's underneath it I have done it before Open the main door To help me get through I learned that from you Oh mama, it's amazing What baking can do I make it Surprise them, tell them all my secrets, but disguise them so they dance on the towns of the very people that they're sick from. Make it soon, I'll make it better, though bitter never lasts forever. I'll make it small, so it fit. Even this. I would now like to invite some crowd favorites up to my stage. Laren and Kate.
these characters made choices that either kept them in the same place, right? Or they, uh, like, didn't, they either moved backwards, right? So my thought is, what do we do then, right? If we're not just gonna stand still and we're not gonna move backwards, how do we move forward? How do we grow? And so um, I feel that the first step to that is reflection. And so these next three songs are going to center around people that reflected about their current situations um, and they uh, made a choice after that. But it was from that reflection that they gave the wisdom they needed to move forward. So. Yeah. 
So I'm going to sit for this one, because when I was 13 years old, I always sat at the piano. And so it kind of feels weird to sing it standing up, I'll say that much. Cannon patches with cold, cold camels from the cannon. I 
after all, I'm still a jerk, playing with candles. It's the set he's not around to play along, yeah. I'm still an asshole, playing with candles, blowing out wishes, blowing out dreams, just sitting here trying to decipher what's written in braille across my skin. Oh, oh this skin. Oh, she was lying on a floor in the counting room stretch. She was lying on the floor in the counting stretch. She was lying on the floor, la 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 So this next one, this is up first, um, is a love set. It was totally unintentional that it was a love set. Um, but all three of these women have experienced um, some kind of loss, whether that's of innocence or of their husbands or of their lives. Um, and they all have a choice, obviously. And these songs exemplify and that kind of are articulate what a turning point looks like, right? Um, so in each of these three songs, you'll probably get the gist of it, but um, these are the turning point songs. Once upon a time, I would wait beside a man who would make me feel like nothing could take him from me. Once I thought forever was real. I thought my life was ideal. I thought that nothing could steal it, you see. Once I learned how wrong I had been Sometimes dreams can cave in and with that Once I learned the hard way Faith in never after was dead And I gave up, never wonder it will Love will come and find me again And it's almost like time has stood still
raise my voice I'd say, Henry, yeah, it's true I'll never belong to you Cause I am not your toy to enjoy Till there's something new As if I'm gonna give up my boy My work, my dreams to care for you <laughs> Darling, get a clue There's nothing you can do Cause I need your love No, no, no So I sent that letter to my love, got married to the king, became the one who survived. I've told you about my life, the final wife. But why should that story be the one I have to sing about just to win? I'm out. That's not my story. There's so much more. Remember that I was a writer. I wrote books and psalms and meditations, fought for female education so all my women could independently study scripture. I even got a woman to paint my picture Why should I tell that story When in his story I'm fixed as one of six And without him I disappear But the reality is that there's a missing piece here. Um, when we go through trials in life, uh, it's really hard sometimes even to get to the point of reflection. It's really hard to even get to the point of a turning point, right? Because the grief feels so insurmountable or the breakup seems so uh, finite, right? And so it's important to me to mention how it is that I make it through some of these really dark times and trials. Um, I have an incredible community of people that have supported me and loved me and helped let me lean on them. And that's part of the way that I get through. And there's one person in particular that I would not be standing here without. And he walked alongside me, he partnered with me, he took on my darkness and my pain and my fear and my sin. And he died on the cross to get rid of all of that. He descended into hell, and he defeated death. And so then, because he defeated death, he was able to rise again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there, he gives me hope through his word and through people that love me. And. Um, he has renewed my mind and transformed it and helped me to be able to look at some of the most crushing moments in my life and in my friends' lives and find some way that they're redeemable, some way that we can grow from it. And he's actually walking with me to become the person I was always meant to be. And so 
um, I would be remiss if I didn't sing a song about him today. Um, and I truly hope that if you've not found that um, in the Lord, that either we could have a conversation or you could continue to think about it, um, because I know that it helps me every day, every single day. So this is, I know it was the blood, um, a traditional African American spiritual.
Just a quick side note. I was gonna play that song myself, and then I emailed David like a week ago, and I said, hey, I can't do this. And are we so glad that he did it? stage with me and Miss Laren Turlington. So we have a couple of things we have to do. So just bear with us for a second.
between the roses. <laughs> I would be the soldier. Thank you all so much for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming out. I know some of you have driven from Arlington and DC, so I really, really appreciate that. I appreciate everybody that's here. Um, and I just wanna leave you with a final thought. Um, so why is it important for us to talk about darkness? just in general, right? And especially as artists. Um, I feel that there are a lot of people in this world that need to see and hear people they can relate to um, go through some of these things, right? Even if it's hypothetical, so that they can begin to process some of those things that they are experiencing. And so I hope that if you had a thought like that tonight, I, I hope and pray that um, you won't leave it at that, but that you'll walk into that and face that darkness um, and know that when you come out on the other side, you are going to be everything you were always meant to be and better than you were before. And the part that I left out about plants is that they 
have to have that strength, right, to pop out and bloom. But then the cool thing is that they, through photosynthesis, end up um, feeding other living organisms and us, right? And so when we face our darkness, we are in our best selves and we're able to help others during that time as well, or as a result as well. So that's my final thought. And this is All That Matters Now from Finding Neverland. There are days when I feel so afraid I can hardly remember to breathe when reality crashes in wave after wave it's pulling me further beneath so what's the point in planning for a future if it all can be stolen away it's all i can do to hold on and survive when the colors have faded to gray. But my children need so much more from me, and they give me the strength to go on. Whatever may come, all that matters now is where I go. I could never explain. He turns all of my sadness into a smile. He's helping me live life again. It's the light in the eyes of my children. It's the sound of their laughter once more. It's the glimpse of a life I dared only to dream. And a dream of Thank you, everybody. So we are going to Piccadilly's after this, if you would like to come. I think we have reserved a lot of seats, so you're more than welcome to come. Uh, but thank you so much, and have a great night. Safe travels.